नमस्कार थ्रू दिस वीडियो वी एक्सप्लेन द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एवरेज कॉस्ट कर्व एंड मार्जिनल कॉस्ट कर्व विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस हियर वी यूज प्रोडक्ट रूल ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन एज वेल एज क्वेश्चन रूल ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन टू एस्टैब्लिश द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एवरेज कॉस्ट एंड marginal cost curve here we take the usep average cost curve c this is the output that is q and this is the cost the origin point we know the usep average cost curve is like this a c and marginal cost curve is also is like this mc here see when the average cost curve is downward sloping that is up to this point so this is the minimum point of average cost curve when average cost curve is downward sloping then marginal cost curve lies below the average cost curve so that's why up to this point and c less than a c and after this point when the average cost curve is upward sloping then marginal cost is greater than average cost and on the other hand at a minimum point of average cost curve the marginal cost curve is equal to average cost curve so here and c is equal to ac so this is the relationship between marginal cost curve and average cost curve now we explain this relationship with the help of product rule of differentiation as well as question rule of differentiation now this this diagram is this now let us take average cost as a function of output here we consider average cost is a function of output now what is average cost average cost is the total cost divided by output t c total cost so we consider average cost as a function of output q therefore t c equal to a c dot q simply see here if we convert it into t c then we will have to a c into or dot q that is average cost multiplied by output is equal to total cost now ac is a function of q here we have considered a q now we calculate marginal cost from this function so therefore the marginal cost is the derivative value of tc with respect to output so what is the marginal cost it is the additional cost for additional unit of output and that is nothing but the derivative value of total cost with respect to output so d tc by dq so that is equal to d by dq put the value of tc so value of tc is cq dot q now see this function this function is a product of two things that is cq and q now considering 
this as a this two as a function we apply the product rule of differences to differentiation to solve it so using the product rule using the product rule we get the differentiation value is like this first function sorry first function c q differentiation of second function d q plus second function differentiation of first function so this is the product rule you know it DQ. now c q is a constant in this case now differentiation value of q with respect to q is 1 we need not to write it plus differentiation uh, that is the q differentiation value of c q we consider it as a c dash q well now see what is the c q c q is the average cost plus q c dash q now here what is the c, c dash q c dash q c dash q is the slope of slope of AC curve yes now MC take this person here take this person into the left hand side so we get minus AC is equal to Q C this Q now see if C dash Q is less than zero, then okay, then MC minus AC is also less than zero. Or MC less than AC. Now see what we have got from this relation. We got if C dash Q is less than zero, then MC MC minus AC is also less than 0 or or MC less than AC so these relations we have got it well remove it these relations we have written here so we have removed it now, what is the meaning of this line? If C dash Q is less than 0, means if the slope of average cost curve is negative, then MC is less than AC. That is, when AC curve is downward sloping, that is C dash Q is less than 0, then MC is lies below AC. So, that is why Condition number one, when AC is downward sloping or C dash Q less than zero, then MC less than AC or MC lies below AC curve. Okay, now come to the second question. If instead of less than zero, if it is greater than zero, then this will be the greater than zero then this will be the greater than S. MC will be the greater than S. Now, here C. C dash Q greater than 0 means slope of average cost curve is positive. So, what is the meaning of slope of average cost curve positive? So, the slope of average cost curve, cost curve is positive means when it is upward sloping, then 
marginal cost is greater than SA. That is, after this point, it is upward sloping. It is indicated by this. The MC curve is above the SC curve. So, that is why marginal cost is greater than average cost. So, that is why we get the second condition where SC SC is upward sloping or C dash Q is greater than 0 then MC greater than SC or MC curve lies above the AC curve ok again if it is greater than sorry if it is equal to 0 then MC minus AC will be equal to greater so it will be will be equal to 0 and then MC will be equal to AC. Now, C dash Q is equal to 0 means when the slope of average cost curve is 0. So, where the slope of average cost curve is 0, the slope of average cost curve will be 0 at the point of, at the minimum point of AC curve. That is, at the minimum point of AC curve, slope of this curve, slope of the curve is 0 or at the minimum point of average cost curve the slope of average cost curve is 0. So when it is 0 then we got MC is equal to SC that is at a minimum point of SC curve MC is equal to SC. So that's why we write it condition number 3 when the slope of SC curve is 0 or C dash Q is equal to 0 or at the minimum point of SC curve mc is equal to ac so this is the product rule we have if, uh, product rule of differentiation we have used to establish the relationship between average cost and marginal cost well now we will use the question rule in order to use the question rule to establish the relationship between average cost and marginal cost, we take total cost as a function of Q. In case of product rule, we used average cost as a function of Q or as a function of output. But here, in order to use the question rule, we use total cost as a function of output. So therefore, average cost is equal to TC by Q and that is equal to CQ by Q. Now we take the slope of average cost curve, therefore the slope of AC curve is dsc by dq that is d by dq what is the sc that is cq by q so d c q by q so we have to use the question rule to get the derivative value of this function. Now what is the question rule? Denominator differentiation of numerator d c q by d q minus numerator differentiation of denominator. That is Q by DQ divided by Q. Now see, sorry, Q square, denominator square. So, so Q square, here we get Q, C dash Q, that is derivative value of CQ is C dash Q, minus C Well, and that is equal to Q 
u square q what is the c dash q that is c dash q is c dash q that is derivative value of t c with respect to q now what is the derivative value of t c with respect to q that is equal to m c so this c dash q is equal to m c minus okay okay before this we have to do what thing now take the common 1 by q then we will get c dash q minus c q by q yes so that is equal to 1 by q what is the c dash q that is m c minus c q by q that is the a c so what we go here d a c by d q is equal to found 1 by q m c minus s we got this here we got c d a c by d q is equal to 1 by q m c minus s now see when or if d a c by d q less than 0 